Welcome back to my con- comment. Welcome back to my commentary zone or the exposing zone. Zone. So, like I did with Benji X Scarlet last time, I will expose Mr. Beast using evidence I found and evidence from a video by Dogpack404. Link below. I'll sum up his. Oh my, fifty-three minute long ex- expose, and go into other things I've noticed as an outside observer. So let's start with what Dogpack404 points out. He's a prime Mr. Beast employee, so I'd say most of this is somewhat credible. Starting with some big ones he mentions, the Mac videos being 100% faked and Mac being on Mr. Beast's payroll, this Mac is actually a Mr. Beast employee who moved from California to Mr. Beast's private town to welcome him in the winter of 2023. Examples include... And though you got out first, I still have a prize for you. Just wait here. <laughs> Oh, first person out gets a car, and it just happened to be your friend Mac. And for the him moving from Dogpack's video. Public records showing that Mac moved from California to Greenville, North Carolina, where Jimmy is located, back in August 2023, two months before he appeared as a contestant. According to a former Mr. Beast employee, this is around the time when Mac started working full-time on the editing team at Mr. Beast. Also, he didn't just move into any old house, he moved into a million dollar mansion. Now, I'm not gonna dox him, but this is just the tip of the iceberg, as Kendrick has said in his hit song, They're Not Like Us. Rabbit hole is still deep, I can go further, I promise. It's not just Mac who's on Mr. Beast's payroll and is getting heavy sums of dough for this fakery. We can hop over to Mr. Beast's video 100 Boys vs. 100 Girls, where the winner is allegedly all fakes. Look at this. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. So many people had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job? I guess you forgot she's your hiring manager. I actually recognize a lot of people in this video, including Jimmy's own girlfriend. So yeah, the random subscribers you see in challenges are actually never random. They're almost always local to Mr. Beast and oftentimes friends and family of Mr. Beast employees or just the employees themselves. And when they do pull someone from outside of North Carolina, it's usually somebody who's in the industry, who's camera trained, who has built a following. That goes over the majority of things that are really important. As this stuff must break down some of Mr. Beast's ethos, right? Not just this, but let's go deeper again, shall we? Look at this screenshot. To read directly from the quote, in 100 Boys vs. Girls, they were told that it would be a PR problem if the boys won by a lot. Basically saying that the whole video ending was edited to seem tighter than it actually was. Okay, let's do a speed run of some other points in his video, before getting to my own thoughts and notices I have. The real-time video was faked, the time was added in post, and the contestant was a professional at this kind of stunt and illusions. And in the Seven Days at Sea video, we can see that nobody is in the beds on this day, and also two people magically get ponchos that didn't exist earlier. Mr. Beast fakes giveaways for subscribers, giving fake Robux, Robux livestream vibes, like in this clip. Card. We'll give two orders five hundred dollars each. Five right. minutes, someone's getting three grand in their someone, order. In five minutes, we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna put a thousand dollars in a random order. Two minutes, newest order gets two thousand dollars. I don't know who this is, but you just got a pair of Air- AirPods. Oh my gosh, we're not making money, guys. We need to stop giving everyone something. We just like, lost like seven. Almost grand. everything, almost everything that someone's bought, we put something in their package. I'm not gonna. Be- by the way, all these clips are from Dogpack's videos, and evidence from his videos show how fake the Chocolate Factory video is too. You're one of like hundreds of thousands of names. Talk to Jimmy Bell, what do you gotta say to Jimmy, say thank that. you for picking us. No, he didn't, it was random. I know. It's also really odd that this man also happened to win the factory. A bit odd and rigged, right? Also, Dogpack videos close with this. Be like shocked, like have your hands over your face, like you're as emotional as you can be. So like, have your hand reaching for it, and they'll like, be like, shocked, like, you're, yeah. For some other stuff, Mr. Beast allegedly was protecting Ava Chris Tyson from being forced to fire her. Before being forced to fire her. But I have no clue about all of this drama until I can see screenshots and real proof about him being forced and protecting her. Don't really want to get into that here. Um, now let me talk about Mr. Beast's newest video at the time of writing this. 50 YouTubers compete for $5,000. Ludwig, who took part in the videos, said this. Now we need to talk about the conspiracy, okay? Let's talk about the conspiracy for a moment, because I believe there are two universes. Now, the first one is a bright, happy, 
positive universe. All right, in this universe, I believe that Logan Paul, because of the set change, because it felt like a very different room with all the food and the different flooring, and because the desk was on the red line, and because Speed was smashing plates after every single time, genuinely forgot about the box and ran out with the idea of smashing the plate. And then he just didn't know, and then he got eliminated because of it. That's one universe. We can be in that universe. That's a totally functional universe. It was an accident. That's one universe, okay? But there's also another universe. And that's the universe where Logan Paul, after people like myself and others, called him out for knowing information about this contest, for it being rigged in his favor, and for his, like, optical awareness of what it would look like to the viewer if he teamed up with Nick Giovanni to move on, thought, well, hey, I don't want to win this contest. What if I exit in the most dramatic moment possible by walking out to accidentally smash his plate? That were the two theories that I had in the cube at this moment, okay? Basically, he thinks slash thought Logan Paul and KSI had more knowledge on the event than everyone else. Therefore, why Logan Paul teamed up with the only chef left in the video, Neo Dia Giovanni? My personal belief is that this video is faked, which would make sense based on other evidence. Mr. Beast but also prior gave Logan the best chance to win in this take or steal with Rubius' sub count artificially lowered and the cases all being even at the start, so it was a high chance for Logan to win. Seems odd, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, see you next time. Also, if you have any evidence for exposing any other YouTubers or that you want to talk about, but you want to stay anonymous, message me and I'll make a video about it. Bye!